Okay, so we're back. I found this, and it's an accessory for Atreus. It's not his armor, though, which, you know, is fine. Uh, oh, I can... Interesting. Wait. How can I help? Oh, I can't actually... Want answer. something in particular? He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. <laughs> Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or no. just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Just him. Okay, it, are we... Am I not bringing the mirror? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. What about that Tosca? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Ratatoskr is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Oh, okay. Alfheim and Niflheim are, have been acquired. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Vaguely sticky. Muspelheim. So what is the, wait, what is the, uh, Asgard, Jotunheim? Svartalfheim remains Svartalfheim. at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the, the dwarves. What is this, Hell? Vanaheim. The Eyes of Odin. Okay, well, let's check it out, I guess. The Raven Tree. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. Yeah. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? Yep. I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They are. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Or the fact that Baldur is dead and Ragnarok is coming.
Do we this have to be here? From the first game. Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. What'll it be? Wait, feels like there was something else. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? Yeah. So it would seem. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Yeah, that's terrifying. A gift of life, a gift in death, to his mother forever, the all father's breath. Their thoughts. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. <coughs> okay. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You can use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Okay, so the... okay, so there's no real point in doing it. <laughs> it's just a practice, I guess. Yeah, the ravens are terrifying. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Okay. Close the Draugr holes. Oh, that's just all over. Find the second Muspelheim seed piece. Okay. So, the return to Sindri's when ready. Okay. Achoo. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Yeah, but when he, uh, when he died, one part disappeared as the other three went to the sky. Something's ah, going on. There you are. I knew you had to Master Kratos, I would speak with you. What is it, Ratatoskar? Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, any I have questions? A question. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithhog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, 
As protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Carry on, my friends. Dear, do you know Ratatoster? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Dapper. All right, so what can I do with you? We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. Unless you wanted to finish something in Svartalfheim first. No, not that I know of. Let's go. The Shroud, or no, Srond? Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. We seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Uh oh. Tyr has some insight. Alfheim. It's been so long. I'm not sure where the different. temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Yeah. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Not at all. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> to be fair, you're the only one who fought so Atreus. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Oh my God. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The Song of the Sands, we called it. Gone to that. <gasps> Another victim of Thor. <coughs> what did Thor have against the elves? <coughs> oh, okay. Just gonna flex on me like that. Hold on. I hear something out there. Yeah, something I do too. Big. I don't like it. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Okay. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Oh. Okay, so where does the... Where's the other one? I should have seen it. 
if it was there before. So I might have to backtrack, which is fine. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Barricade up ahead. What are those tiny rocks? Oh, yo, yeah. we can do that. Wait, there's a gap in the fence over there. What am I missing? Yeah. interesting as opposed to eh we'll see what became of Kavasir? ripped apart by his audience well one member of his audience well Thor oh brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. And I guess that didn't work. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Is that a light-up? We're the ones who freed the light. No, that's actually pretty cool. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Betray us. Focus. 
us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Uh, sometimes optimism and naivety are the same thing. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. What the hell is this? Huh. Can't get past that. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. That's who's won so far. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Well. Solid Light. Yes, some things don't change. Can't get through that. <coughs> Above the door, there's a light crystal. The Alpha! <laughs> Weird. That usually works. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Fun. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling oh. the surprise. Come on, Mimir. Okay, so this way. Oh, it's the light. Oh. Ah. What is that? I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course, making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes, 
After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Interesting. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Yeah, don't care what anybody thinks while we're here. <coughs> they were not helpful the last time. And they're a hindrance Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Okay, so we just decimated that one guy for no reason. Poor souls. Here, they came across on light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. They probably have some measure of personal control. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, fine awaits. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. Ah, a curious mind. Carry on. Oh, that's sweet. Tears just like, go ahead, King. Oh, wait, this is where we just were. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Yeah, we Great. know. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> just like to be thorough. <laughs> By all means, then. These things smell awful. Okay. What's this? Anything? <coughs> <to enjoy? laughs> New scroll on the Bifrost.
Maybe if I just do this. Oh, damn. boys. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Oh, well, okay. There's more Twilight Stone up there. I can't get a good... Wait, maybe if I go around a little bit? Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. Tell them what you bring to it. More light elves to have. I'll handle this. Uh... Maybe that's not a great idea. Tier, you either gotta kill him or just knock him out or Oh something. there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Tyr! Get back! short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. <laughs> right. He said it's not our business. Leave it alone. They 
Sure made a lot of these light doors. Huh. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent, yes? <coughs> hey, that looks interesting. Interesting, but it doesn't do us anything. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? Yeah. Scientific experiment. Okay, that does nothing. <laughs> Something's I don't mean to speak out of turn. But the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Oh, wait a minute. You're right, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Tyr. It worked. Thanks, Tyr. My pleasure. <laughs> Bringer of all sorts of justice, including loot. Glad we explored. Oh no. Back to it then. Figure out what this does. Ooh. 
You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. <laughs> surprised. I suppose I'll leave you to it. They just samurai moved themselves on me like okay I suppose I was you to another wide out to the left Behind you! Incoming! The Alpha! Oh, we had a remix of this. Uh, what part of the sound? <laughs> on the other side. I'll meet you on the other side. Yep. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. Stop yelling. Here they come. Do what you must. Big ball of light coming your way. I still can't 
figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. still make light bridges. Yep. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Shut up, Mamiya. Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Ah, oh, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, but... I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns. Nor do I wish to Where's the third one? Look, over there. What? Where? They don't make it easy, do they? Where's the third one? Tear move, please. Tear move, please. Maybe you can throw those back at him! 
just a hair's off each time. <laughs> Is that just a full circle? Brighter than I remember. <laughs> Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield, but that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Nope. Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed, but now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did not. He made his choice. The wrong one. But I'll find perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Yeah. Doesn't always mean our own path is the correct <laughs> one, but... We have to make those choices for ourselves. Last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I wondered what became of Svartliofer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be a storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. Oh, we can't go down. Okay. There. The central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Yeah. Uh, facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. Oh wow. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. 
Okay, Lord of Justice. The light of Alfheim. How stunning. That's too high. Or too low. I don't know exactly how to make use of it. Your mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he said he went he... inside the light of Alfheim. Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. <laughs> you must tell me, Kratos. What did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. <coughs> They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. Yep. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came... I thought all the dark elves were... Evil? Dear. Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Yeah, and that's how it ended up being. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you for joining me. Uh, when we return, we're going to try to get to the shrine. But until then, I thank you very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow with more God of War, War Ragnarok. Mm -hmm.